Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nori to explain here, bringing you guys another board. So, two blue vortex community response over here on the YouTube channel for you guys predictions over on patreon as well as youtube going over the chapter 15 predictions i'm recording this video on the 18th so there's been enough time for people to comment etc the chapter review should be out tomorrow i got it sent out to the chapter review editor a couple of days ago so hopefully we have it out tomorrow so i thank you guys for your patience and your understanding if not we'll have another video up so looking at what you guys are saying over on patreon first let's see what bruce kirk jr says my predictions for this next chapter are number one it will start with konohamaru sai and shikamaru in the hokage office making plans to go help the sand village with likely the new team seven on their first mission outside the village in team 10 minus Gene with kakashi oh kakashi leading both teams because konohamaru is gonna have to stay in the village because of shikamaru's actions okay i see where that was going like that's like the common thing i saw like a lot of comments people was like uh team 10 and team 7 are going hell i thought that we might see them get sent out so we definitely got zing here that's the fun of community responses man um but kakashi leading the teams oh man you was cooking with that one i like that uh, let's see, number two, I think that we'll also get the conversation between Kashi and Koji and Boruto relating to the new future with the new Shinji. You almost got it. It was Boruto and Kawaki. Close. Uh, number three, I hope it happens, but I can see it not. But I would like a few pages of Sai and Eno talking, seeing them potentially be on the opposite sides of the fence and seeing how they manage the situation. I can see Sai taking shikamaru's side causing tension i think that's coming like i did a, a video talking about it like how enojin and uh sai are probably gonna be the reason why eno kind of wakes up and kind of starts seeing things a different way because it's her family but there's gonna be tension because like it's the whole thing the memories I, I like that i like that one the most out of everything you put on there uh hibachi flamethrower says i don't think konoha will send one team last time the sand village asked for help they sent team seven and team guy matsuri is moegi shinju i think we will get team seven and team 10 and i think udon will be brought back to stand in for hanabi unfortunately i also think he'll be the one to die in this art man udon fans <laughs> udon fans hurt message did that he took hanabi out because Anabi's best girl and you put Udon in there because best girl is not expendable. I like that. Potentially saving Konohamaru. Oh man, okay, I see what you did there. That's what I get for doing the troll in mid-reading <laughs> and having a heartfelt moment where he tells me that he and Moegi always believe he'd be the next Okage one day. Man, oh, oh, get me right in the feels, man. Granted, I don't think Udon does next chapter, but he's going to show up wearing all kinds of death flag. I mean, it could work because, like, Matsuri is Moegi Shin. That could work. You know, I wouldn't be mad. I think, like, the last time we saw Udon in uh, manga format was back in Naruto chapter 700. I don't think he's ever appeared in Boruto's manga, so that could work. I like that. Um, Aokiji, the Forsaken Storyteller. I see you, my guy, man. Longtime supporter. Yo, it's me again. Of course it's you again. <laughs> Like, I know I can count on you to comment, man. Uh, I think we're gonna at least get a reveal of Ryu's target. You called it. And likely how Shinky got captured as a setup for a possible Sand Village arc. You called it, my friend. You are a great prognosticator. Ryu, his target is Gara, And we did see how Shinky got captured. You are a great prognosticator. You know, it's fun to do like the water cooler discussions. Like God knows I do enough of them. Hey, what about this? What about this? It's oftentimes a simple explanation, but you know, it's just fun to talk about, man. So great job on that one, man. Very good prognosticator. Scott Van Gaspic says, well, it sounds like this is a trap, especially since Jura no boards a special move and Jura reading a bunch of books. So he might have new more information than we think. Hey, you're kind of right. Like there was a trap, but it was Jura saying, hey, code, you go kill Boruto for me. But you know, it's one of those things. He's killing two birds with one stone. 
that's worth a video in of itself. I definitely think you're right. I think Jura is definitely plotting. So, uh, Matthew Omo Ijuwamfo, if I said your name wrong, I completely apologize. I am probably unrivaled by only my guys at Anime Balls D with saying names incorrectly, but at least they make the attempt. I just say Bob if I get it wrong. <laughs> Bob and Steve and Mary and whatever else I can think of. So, if I got that close, Please tell me I did. And if I didn't, I sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart. So let's see what you say here. Hey man, pretty new Patreon member here. I think something happens in chapter 15. And towards the end of the chapter, Shikamaru faces a trial against the elders, possibly ending in a cliffhanger. That would have been dope. Then chapter 16 picks up with him on trial where he has to defend him. So oh, you went ahead a little bit. Okay. Eno will come to his aid, acting as if she read his mind. Afterwards, she'll probably say something like, I don't trust what you're doing as Hokage, but I support you as a friend or whatever. I see what you're doing. I also think Kawaki's going to come to Shikamaru's aid, but unintentionally bring up Koji and how he found the toad on board. I mean, that, that wouldn't have that wouldn't have affected it too much. And I would have done something with a motto, but we now know a motto knows. Now, veering back to chapter 15, I believe it's gonna be very text heavy. You were correct there. I well for like 60% text heavy. I also think we'll get a glimpse of Boruto in the land of sin, but too much, but not too much action from him. Like I mentioned before, I think the Charles Shikamaru is going to happen in chapter 16. I do believe it's possible to take place in chapter 15 and a squad is sent to the same village in chapter 16, I guess. So yeah, like the trial part, you know, that's like, that's part of the thing with the fan translations, like they're improving. You know, we lost the OG uh, translators like Organic Dinosaur and Ray and uh, Sinlethu, I believe. I know Sinlethu used to do uh, translations for Nards or stuff. I want to say Sinlethu's done stuff for Boruto so too. We lost a lot of OG uh, translators. So, you know, what we have now, people making really great efforts and they're improving, but, you know, they're, they're growing pain. So, like the um, trial of, uh, the trial of uh, Shikamaru, that was a mistranslation there so you know basically there will be repercussions and you know and that's no fault of anybody translating as i've said before japanese to english is not easy to do i commend anybody that's trying to do the translation it's one of those things like the translation is going to improve you know that's the lifeblood of the community i'm part of those og naruto fans like i remember reading scanlations in 2002 it ain't nowhere near as bad as what it was then and scanlations are how we even have naruto in the west to begin with so it's one of those things like don't hate on the people attempting. Um, but yeah, I will say definitely you're right about being text heavy. And I definitely think that you're right that we're going to go to the land of sand, but uh, not the land of sand. It's just the land of wind. It's the sand village. But yeah, I, I definitely think you're on to something on parts of that. Uh, let's see. LC says, hey, homie, hope it's been a good month. It's been OK, man. Honestly, super unsure where this chapter is going to go. I think for sure we will see the development of or the deployment of a team to the sand village i also think by the end of the chapter we will see a meeting between the five kage regarding the attack on leaf and the sand villages i think that's coming in terms of like whoever's going to place gar likely conqueror but i definitely think that as well as borto's reemergence and being active i am predicting i'm predicting heavy setup so this was a heavy setup chapter so you were right there great prognosticator in addition the repercussions the elders spoke about will be swung into action with shikamaru being told after he dispatches the team he will be having a leader with the daimo as well as the top ranking officials in the leaf like for example the previous kage and high ranking members of joining council that would be dope if we saw that i also think there will be a standoff between kawaki and miski for letting board to go free as i am going to assume ada will tell kawaki Miski freedom lastly uh boruto is going to get an earful from koji about his actions then a scouting report before he himself has to sand village no shinji appearance in the show not quite uh my stretch prediction for this chapter is that the cloud village also says they were attacked oh okay 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 and another team sent there that would have been a nice twist you know you got some parts of the chapter right man good job um zeko says I want, I mean, I want to see Momoshiki, but I lost hope. But don't lose all hope. He was mentioned. Momoshiki is coming, people. Our glorious king is coming. My guess is that the chapter will be more about discussions. Shikamaru with the elders and boards. So, 
it was again it was a 60 percent text heavy chapter so definitely close wrong parties very 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 good job very good job uh matthew diaz says what's up homie man you ain't never gonna get me to root for that politician clown though he knows what i'm talking about uh ryu's target is revealed to either be gar or conquero definitely gar you got that right the characters going to the sand are gonna be Sarda, Kawaki, Shikadai, maybe Hima Warrior, Miski. They 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 bait and sli switched us. They didn't give us a complete sand village team, but now we know at least boards on Kawaki are going there. So good job on that one. Uh oh snaps, fam. Okay, what's up, fam? Summon that Nara to explain energy. This chapter is gonna be more on build up and the end of the chapter we're gonna get it a start of a fight as a teaser so let me cook all right fam let me see what you cooking because it was a teaser but it was not a fight we start off with shikamaru communicating with conquero with some flash you got that right with some flash oh a week before man what you cook hold on did he correctly guess the chapter we start off with shikamaru communicating with conquero with some flashbacks of the sand getting dog some dead bodies and we see gar in a critical condition shinky cosplaying his group <laughs> then we see shikamaru assigning his team probably shikadai's captain or konohamaru or termami <laughs> i see what you did there with uh sarda and kawaki since miski is guarding the siblings then we move to board to return into Koji with updates and we see Koji shares new vision from his insight. Final pages will be Jura with the Goonies and lastly, maybe a teaser fight with the Sand or the Konoha team sent out. So you got some parts of it right. We did see Shinki as a tree. We did see Gar in a critical condition. We did get the flashback. So good job. Good job. Uh, Charismatic Charles. That is a fucking interesting name okay let's see and i mean that in a good way by the way you know like good way uh i really hope because you gotta have like some big balls you're gonna say like put charismatic before your name like that's that's confident that's confidence oh man that's confidence right there man i like that uh anyway i got off track for a second so i really hope we see sarda go to the sand and fight and as much as I would like to see Boruto and Sarda fight together, I have a feeling Boruto won't be pulling up to the sand considering they all have KOS orders on his ass. True, we probably see Koji talk with Boruto about Kawaki finding his toad and what problems that cause for the two of them moving forward as well as share some new possible futures now that things have progressed i think that's coming the koji and boruto conversation that's definitely coming um the next thing though is i yeah like it's kind of confirmed like and this is the fun part you know seeing the reactions right before the chapter dropped after we have hindsight you know like we now know like yeah the kill on site order is there but kawaki and boruto they got an alliance uh tommy bunny bread yeah i got tommy bunny bread to consider checking out bunny girl senpai one of my guilty pleasures. I think Shikamaru will summon those he selected for the Hidden Sands request for aid. And we see uh, Boruto return to Koji and some other stuff, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, Tommy Bunny Bro was like, I'm not even gonna try and predict the rest of it. I'm just gonna take it safe. I see you, Tommy, I see you. Uh, so we didn't see who he's gonna send to the Sand Village for aid, but, and we didn't see Boruto return to Koji but we did get confirmation about what's going on in the sand village itself so good job there uh let's see what's going on here on youtube all right so over on youtube we're going over you guys predictions and we have a momo shiki profile picture which means you automatically get a heart so mm twins 2545 says i am still loyal to momo shiki's comeback for the rest of the incoming chapters my man i am too momoshiki greatness incoming it's coming just like the code stocks they're on the rebound and i know they're crashing right now but they got to hit the bottom and rebound and kawaki stocks i told you buy them kawaki stocks while they're on the dip now they're rebounding momoshiki's coming uh let's see bolcher 97 says you a long time uh ow. You are a longtime viewer as well, supporter of the channel. Big time appreciate you. Uh, Sarda and friends will be sent to investigate and back up the Sand Village. But before that, she will have a conversation with Sakura 
that's framed in a way where we'll find out Sakura's personal opinions and beliefs regarding omnipotence, boards on Sasuke. I think at some point we need that. At some point we need that, you know, just depends on what's going to happen with Hidari like that. I think that's coming. Uh, just not anytime soon because the narrator doesn't need it right now. Enojin will wake up and join the team with Sada as someone who is able to use mind transmission jutsu and because he'll believe Himawari's assessment of Boruto, he will be the one who Shikamaru convinces to act as there in a minute. Oh, oh, I see. You might be cooking there. Oh, you might be cooking. Depending on how Enojin bounces back from Sakura's treatment and Eno refusing, he could step up. That is worthy of a video. You might be cooking. You might be cooking. I like that. Kawaki won't go on this mission. It'll probably be Sada and Miski and Enojin and Himawari replacing boards on Kawaki with Boruto as the silent fifth member of the group unofficially. So, kinda. Kawaki and Boruto are going. Uh, Shikamaru will need to keep some heavy hitters close to home. So, the rest of the team... That's underrated, too. That he has to keep people there to defend the village because they are under attack. Good job. I don't think Damon's leaving. Like, Damon is, like, completely content sitting on Ada's big old thighs and eating animal crackers and reminiscing about how he's gonna whoop Code's ass the next time he sees him like, it ain't happening like damon's not leaving so you're definitely right there uh anime cultist 15 says enoji wakes up and is no longer on the effects of omnipotence due to his chakra pathway disrupted and will serve as shikamaru's means of remaining in contact with boruto throughout the series once he realizes everything is out of whack i am warming up to that possibility that something happens where you know gene helps i don't know if maybe the sakura thing did it but if it does you're still gonna have people say sakura is useless like it's 2024 people are saying and 2044 people will still say it more than not it's true it doesn't matter you know it's one of those things like memes they never die what blackbeard say blackbeard said dreams never die memes never die so uh let's see i've Arnav the Great, 4483. I'm going to keep that tongue twister part in there. Happy birthday, Naruto. Did I post this on Naruto's birthday? Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, Naruto's birthday is October 10th. Very sad when you realize that he was fighting the war on his birthday weekend and saw his daddy go back to the Pure Land and his best friend watched him shed those ugly tears and was thinking to himself the whole time, Naruto, don't worry about crying in front of your dad. You'll see him soon because I'm going to kill you. Sasuke was a savage. So E. Patrick says, uh, Sarda and Sakura conversation. Maybe uh, Sarda and Miski go to the Sand Village. So we didn't get that, but I definitely think like Sarda's probably going. Probably going. Let's see. Uh, KC Forever Boy uh, underscore 802 says, congrats and happy, happy anniversary, my guy. Big time appreciate you. Part two to the nine year YouTube anniversary Q&A will be coming out probably sometime next week. Um, it's been an awesome journey on this roller coaster ride through manga madness. So happy for you, fam. Let's keep going. Big time appreciate you, my guy. Big time appreciate you. Uh, Beast Legend 7537 says, Thinking Shikamaru will help and Eno will betray... That could work. Not now, but definitely that could work. Eno's a wild card. Uh, let's see. Rising Reform uh, 3814. We see guard status, correct. And one of Tar Tamari and Konkro step up as the intern Kage role. Like Shikamaru looks like it's Konkro. Like, and, like watch my Kaze Kage clan video or my uh kaze kage clan short video about how being kaze kage is harder than becoming hokage it'll never be tamari that's never happening um not unless there's been some radical change in how things are done there sand village is not like the leaf village so we get teams for the sand village and a potential koji board to update so we did get a board to update we did get a board to update so let's see Jaden castro 1567 says what happened in 1567? I'm curious now. I, that's like the randomest ass thought ever. Uh, you know, I hadn't thought much about predictions due to me working a lot recently, but here goes nothing. Let's see what you cook. Right now as it stands, Boruto is close to being back to full HP due to Himawari healing him after being shot and being knocked out for X amount of time. Underrated comment. Therefore, it should be presumed that he is ready for an upcoming battle setting that 
being most likely being set in the hidden sand village not quite we'll probably get a glimpse of gara being manhandled somehow <laughs> the way randy orton did javon evans in their nxt match if you're a wrestling fan you know what he means by that <laughs> that is accurate it'll be interesting to see how the sand village responds to seeing borto in the village presuming he doesn't hide his chakra signature we might get that in the future I think we'll also may get to see the team that's chosen to help out the Sand Village. Maybe next chapter. Although, as per usual, we may get a curveball somewhere in the chapter, which is definitely what happened. I think the Sand Village might have not been the only village attacked and maybe there was more attacked as well. That being the Hidden Mist Village. It would be interesting to have Boonton be the one that was turned to a Shinju. I mean, Ikimoto did draw a character, so it could work. She would continue to serve as a fool to Sarda. I see what you're cooking there. I wouldn't be mad at that. It'd be a good way to bring it into the story because they did reference the Hidden Mist Filter Park in Boruto's manga, so that could work. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I know Ikimoto drew uh, Boonten for uh, the Boruto Academy novels, but if I'm not mistaken, he helped with that design too. You know, that's one of the things like people don't realize Ikimoto helped out in the anime as did Kishimoto on some of the stuff. It wasn't just 100% Studio Piro, it's a collaboration. So the last time we left off with a character, she decided to serve as a shinobi for the Mist Village and hunt down Shizuma to apprehend him. But if she stuck down aiding or struck down aiding the Mist Village, it would be a great layer to a character I like to see. But that's just me though. Keep up the great work, man. Can't wait for those longer essays to drop when they're ready yeah i got a long onoki video essay i got one on may the mizukage i got one on ada like i got some man like you know you guys know the situation you know we had a rather large tax bill this year and i'm gonna have a big one next year too but it's one of those things like i'll be better prepared this year you know so editors are coming you know if you're on patreon you see the steady trickle of videos being uploaded so there this this content coming we're still gonna try and go for that soft reboot in spring of 2025 so let's see uh J will johnson 4047 says congrats on the longevity and for getting married soon i'm not getting married it was a person i mean don't wish that on me <laughs> yeah my mom would kill me right like like my mom and my sister and my nephew are down here with me right now and my mom was like just on my ass too, right? She was like, so when are you going to give me a grandbaby? I'm like, huh? Give you a what? <laughs> Yo, it's got to be like family and destiny and all this stuff, man. That's like a sign from the universe. I got to get serious. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, hey, man. It happened one day. It happened one day. I'm going to get more serious about trying to settle down with somebody next year I, will it be next it'll be it'll be next year. i get more serious next year no more fun times we 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 gonna do right we're gonna do right i'm almost you know where i need to be like the money right the maturity and everything's there you know if i would have married somebody back when i was in college and everything man like uh, i graduated in 2016 so like if i would have uh married somebody back then man i'd be divorced and on child support because like I'm not the individual I am now. Like I'm more uh, assertive and better at planning and taking control, better financially stable, things of that nature. You know, everything happened for a reason. That's the thing I kind of told my mom, man. Everything happened for a reason. Um, last thing I'm really doing right now, like, you know, I've done the bulky look for a while, you know, trying to lean up, go more for, uh, if you've watched Vampire Diaries, you get an idea of what I'm kind of going for, like really leaning up more to get more of that uh, Ian Somahander, or however you say his last name, the guy that played uh, Damon Salvatore, you know, going for more of the lean look, man, you know, uh, things are a lot easier when you're not carrying around the extra bulk, you know, just, you know, have more muscle, because, you know, uh, he's pretty... He's muscular, but he's very skinny and not trying to do that. I know that type of stuff really shouldn't matter, you know, in terms of like, oh, like you got to have like certain body type, et cetera. You know, I value fitness very, very much. I value health very much. So it's one of those things like you are what you attract. So that makes me like a little shallow. You know, I'm not going to apologize for it, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I say keep the series going. Absolutely, my guy. Hey, boy, I mean, boards has got a few more years left, I believe. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, unforgivable Blaine. Ooh, unforgivable rain. I think that's what it is. Uh, let's see. Binge watching the content while the children in the hospital. Hope the children are okay. That's your children. Definitely keeping prayers up. If they're not your children, prayers up. I'm not that kind of a dick. Come on now. <laughs> so with my so keep up, I guess it's your son. Uh, so, oh, okay. Uh, so keep up the good work. I don't really have a prediction besides hoping to see a shot of Kakashi. We need Kakashi greatness. If we do, I think it's going to be a small panel towards the end of the chapter, maybe scouting. I don't think he'll be scouting for Boruto who just left the village, but it'll be, it'll show him looking at hideouts. I mean, that would have been dope. Like, I want to know how Gar and them found Kashi and Koji's hideout. You know, like, it's one of those things I definitely want to see that. Uh, your brother in Islam says, do you say Salam Alaikum? Is that even, I don't know, man. man. Man, damn. I should know this too, man. Like, I went, like, like, I went to like a mosque and everything. This is so off topic, but just bear with me for a second, right? You know, what Trump say, he calls it the wave or the waddle or what, whatever, whatever he calls it, right? That's what we doing, okay? Like, when it's like a, um, he's like 78. He's got an excuse of being off track mind. Like, I don't have one. Um, I went to like a mosque and anything like in 2016 or something, 2015, 2016. And that was like a cool ass experience. Like, I'm not Muslim, but you know, it was a cool experience to kind of see how they do stuff there. Um, but yeah, brother in Islam, I see you, my guys. So I believe someone will be introduced that plays a major role in the coming future. Not sure if they're an ally or an enemy. It could be Ryu, but I think it's someone. It could be Ryu based on how the man kind of looked at Jura a little funny. And Monsuri dropped the line. Definitely going to keep the eyes on it. So, uh, Locky Games, we just talked on Twitter like earlier today. What's up, my guy? Uh, see, I do read the comments. So, chapter starts off with a short flashback on what happened with the Sand Village. You are correct. And maybe something to do with where Kashi and Koji currently is. That is not correct. Damn good guess, though, because I thought that shit, too. I ain't going to front. <laughs> then we get Shikamaru ordering a strong enough cell to advance. Man, they really got us. Everybody thought they were going to assemble a team. A strong enough cell to advance to the Sand Village while still having enough power to deal with the threats in the Hidden Leaf. I don't think Team 10 or Miski would go out on this mission, and it'd be something like Kawaki Sada, either Sumire or someone else with either Konohama or Tamari being the Jonin tagging along. I'm guessing that we won't get to the traveling part of this arc yet. You're correct there. And more focus on Shikamaru's position as Hokage in the aftermath of Boruto's as escape. Overall, something similar to 73 is what I expect. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, this was very similar to board till chapter 73 for those you guys who do not know and you don't remember 73 is the chapter after code made that army of uh a shinju and it was a big talking chapter and they're kind of setting up a lot of stuff and everybody's like oh my god the pacing is so slow and then like it was put on the gas after that those chapters are necessary just as this chapter is necessary like man this is good you know like it kind of seems like ikimoto subverted expectations as a community we all thought that like the team was going to be assembled and we see like the preparation but we got subverted Cole got his ass whooped and we saw that kawaki has a power up coming so i mean this is gonna be good man i am so excited so as always check the community tab i know like a lot of you guys uh say like hey i miss these every single time I post on the community tab quite a bit, not as much as I used to, whether it be polls or et cetera, plugin videos from the other channels I run and also for community responses like this or Q and A's, et cetera. We got part two and three coming for that nine year anniversary Q and A. So definitely like I want to see you guys comments. So just occasionally check over on the tab. Like I try to post something at least once every week. I've been slipping a little bit, but for the most part, yeah, like the community tab is where it's at, man, because like this is my way of engaging with you guys since I can't reply to every single comment for reasons we've already gone over. But the chapter review will be out tomorrow. The editor's had it since the 16th and he's almost done with it. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys' patience. 